This book is about a small group of girls who are good friends with each other. So I'm going to dedicate this video to the small group of girls in 5A that always want me to take off my glasses. Well, today you get your wish. Guess what? said Amy. It's my birthday next week and my mum says I can invite all my special friends for a sleepover party. Great! said Bella. Fantastic! said Chloe. Wonderful! said Emily. I didn't say anything. I just smiled. Hopefully. It's the sleepovers. Sleepovers is a chapter book by Jacqueline Wilson, illustrated by Nick Sharat Sh 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 Sharat Sharat Sharat, illustrated by Nick Sharat, and published by Penguin in 2001. Sleepovers is about Daisy, a primary school student who joins a new school and makes friends with four other girls. One day, they decide each to have a sleepover for their birthdays. The problem is, Daisy is afraid to bring friends home because of her sister, Lily. What's worse, Chloe is starting to be mean to Daisy. What will happen when it's time for Daisy to have a birthday sleepover? The Sleepovers is a book about being a girl, being young, growing up, having friends. All of this is good stuff, but it's also a lot about bullying. And if you've seen my Wimpy Kid video, you will know that bullying is something that I take quite seriously and I think is quite important to talk about. The bullying in this book is not quite so easy to understand because it's about five best friends, but one of them is bullying one of the other ones. You might not think that friends could bully each other, but it happens and unfortunately, maybe just in my opinion, it happens a lot with girls. If you are being bullied, of course you should seek out an adult to speak to it could be a teacher, one of your parents, grandparents, someone that looks after you, somebody that you trust, even a friend's mum or dad, and tell them. If you're not really sure whether you're being bullied by a friend, whether you're a girl or not, I'd recommend giving this a read. It might help you to understand what it's like and you can see whether it's happening to you. Your teachers and your parents are always there for you. And if you know me, I'm there for you too. You don't have to suffer bullying alone. Tell us about it, we'll help you with it. Even if you're not being bullied, even if you have great friendship with all of your friends, it might be worth reading so that you can see it, spot it in other people. Anyway, back to the review. Yuck. What do you want them for? said Chloe. It's a picnic, Chloe, said Emily. A teddy bear's picnic, I said. We both started singing that funny old teddy bear's picnic song. Amy joined in. Bella joined in. We sang it in the car. Emily's mum and dad joined in. Emily's baby brother Ben tried to join in. Chloe didn't even try. She sat scowling and sighing and muttering that we were all dead babyish. When we got out of the car at the park, Chloe suddenly gave me a push so that I fell on my knees and I got my new trousers all dirty. It hurt too. I tried very hard indeed not to cry. Did you push Daisy, Chloe? said Emily's mum. No, of course not. I was just helping her out of the car. It was an accident said Chloe. It was accidentally on purpose, 
I hid my face in midnight's fur. Oh, look at little Diddums with her teddy weddy, Chloe muttered. I wished Midnight was a real bear and could bite her. We had another game of football, but my knees were bleeding and sticking to my trousers, so it was too sore to run. I couldn't be on a team. I had to sit on a rug beside Emily's mum and her little brother Ben. Still, that wasn't so bad. Ben got a bit grisly, so Emily's mum let me give him his bottle. I'm very used to helping people drink. I know exactly the right angle. You're just like a little mum, Daisy, said Emily's mum. Have you got a little brother at home? No, I've just got my sister, I said, sitting Ben up and burping him. Is she still a baby? said Emily's mum. Not really, I said vaguely. Well, anyway, I'm very glad you and Emily have made friends. You must come round and play whenever you want. You'll be very welcome. Sleepovers is quite easy to read. If you like books about friendships or family drama, I recommend it to you. It is sometimes sad, but it has a nice ending. There are loads of other books by Jacqueline Wilson, so look in your local library. Mr. O approves of sleepovers.